Hey, this is Anti Babylon. This is my Kamenga USGI issue Tri Tium powered compass. They're, um, the elements inside there are tritium, so they glow in the dark. They don't need to be charged like phosphorus. We learned some really awesome stuff at the land nav. Uh, the land nav that we did at the FTX March 2010, we learned some really cool when you're, when you're stuff. Doing land nav. You do all your map work and you figure out what heading you need to be on to get from where you are to where you need to be. And, you know, let's say it's, let's say it's 90. You know, if, if you're, you're um, at a place and you need to actually head due east so to get to where you need to be. Until your compass reads 90. And then you would look and you would sight and you would see what landmarks are lined up on your sight line there. And, okay, that really big tree down there, that's exactly 90 degrees from me. And you would start walking towards that really big tree. Well, that's the way you do it in the daytime, and it works great. And then when you get to that big tree, you do it again. You line up to 90, and you look in the sight picture there, and you see what, oh, there's another, oh, there's a, Oh, that's a birch bark, that big birch bark tree over there. That's at not, that's at 90 degrees, and you walk to the big birch bark tree, and that's how you get, you know, you go from point to point. But at nighttime, you can't do that. You can't line up and shoot an asthma. I never knew this about this, this really awesome compass that's worth every penny you spend on it. Um, the um, the bezel ring, which you see here. Click has has um, detente. You can hear them. Click click click. I hope you can hear them. But it rotates around. Do you see that little? There's a little line in there that's moving around as I move this. That's the that's the bezel ring tritium insert indicator line. I don't know what it's actually called, but if you if you're at nighttime doing land nav, you line that up with straight nor um, straight up and down on your compass. Line it up with the line that's on your compass, and then you um, say, "Okay, I got to head 90 degrees." Well, 90 is less than 180. There's 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 directions that you head that are from zero to 180, and there's directions that you head that are from 180 back up to 360. If you're going clockwise, this clock for you on the camera. This is clockwise. From 0 to 180 degrees, from 180 degrees up to 360 degrees. There's two, two halves of this. The, what we're doing is 90 degrees, so that's less than 180. It's over here on this side. And um, so what you would do, if, if your azimuth heading is less than 180, what you do is you divide by 3. So 90 divided by 3 is 30. And what you do is, you click off in the, the opposite direction, the opposite side of the compass. The, there's the less than 180 side, and then there's the greater than 180 side. If you're going to be heading less than 180, then you need to click this thing towards the greater than 180 side. So. What it, was it 90 divided by 3 is 30, so we're going to click this 30 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 30. I made it 30 clicks towards the um, greater than 180 side. Or, or you could say I, I did it 30 clicks counterclockwise. Now, all I got to do is line up north if I line up north with the that mark on the bezel ring I don't know if you can even see it with this but I've got north lined up with the bezel ring there you can see it right there let's see if I can get some kind of pointer in here you can see it north is lined up with that indicator on the bezel ring and I don't know if you can see it, but the line in the compass there 
is pointing to 90. Just like what we needed. How cool is that? So now if you hold your compass, see this line here now, is now pointed at 90, right? So now if you hold your compass like this, I don't know if you can see this, if you hold it like this, straight out in front of you, your compass and your body are going to be pointed towards 90 degrees. Now the same, it's kind of the same thing for headings that are greater than 180. The math is just a little different, and here's how it goes. If you're going to be heading to an azimuth greater than 180, let's say we're going to be heading, we did our map work and we figured out that to get from where we are, to get to where we need to go, we actually need to head straight west, 270. Okay, um, if it's, this is 0 to 180, if it's from 180 to 360, if it's on this side of the compass, we don't, we don't just divide by 3. What we do is we subtract our heading, 270, from 360, so 360 minus 270 is 90. Now we divide by 3. And that gives us 30. And now, with the bezel ring lined up at zero, you always start it at zero before you start doing your clicks. It's lined up perfectly straight up and down with zero with the uh, with the compass line. Now you click it 30 clicks to the other side of the compass where you're going to be heading. So since we're going to be heading on the greater than 180 side, we're going to click it clockwise over to the less than 180 side. So we're going to click it 30 times clock 30. All right, there's 30 clicks. Now when I line my north up, the north on my dial, up with the bezel ring that I just clicked over 30 times, as you can see, my north is lined up with the bezel ring. And as you might be able to see, if you look, if I don't know how well focused this is, Maybe it's not light enough, but the line in there is actually pointed right at 270. For, for nighttime if you're holding that, navigation, if you're holding it in front of your body with your elbows together, as if that compass was a, 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 an extension of your body, you know, perpendicular to your body. Um, You'll be facing 270. And you can, if, if you walk and you just keep the north lined up with that little glowing indicator on your bezel ring, you'll be headed at 270. And you don't ever need to shoot an azimuth like you do in the daytime. It works pretty good. It works pretty good. It's, it's, it's better to shoot an azimuth and then head, you know, a long distance to an item. It's more accurate that way. But this really it's one of the really work. cool things I learned this weekend, and uh, we learned lots of other cool things too, but, well, I guess you just had to be there. <laughs>